Welcome back to the May Zane channel. I'm Zane Rima and today I'm going to show you how to make a vocal harmony using Logic Pro 10. And this is the DAW I use and you can use these tips on any DAW, Pro Tools, Soundtrap, Ableton. It's just the layout is different but I'm going to show you my screen, guide you through the process of what I do. I like the way it sounds and I'm not a professional. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for 500,000 subscribers. Thank you. And wow, 500,000. Woo! My last two videos videos were pre-recorded so I didn't get to thank you personally. It's amazing that you guys continue to support this channel. Without you guys I wouldn't know who I am. You teach me just as much as I teach you and I love you guys and I am forever blessed and grateful for each and every one of you so thank you. Anyways, first things first, you need a microphone. This is a Shure SM7B. Check zanerima.com studio for a list of the equipments that I use or my suggestions based on your budget. I have a plugin that I got on Splice and it's called Nectar 3. There's vocal assistance. It adjusts to your voice and so far I like it a lot. Here we go. This is how I like to label things. So this is just an example from Tori Kelly's City Dub and I'm gonna do like a harmony part. I don't even know my fate. I just know I'm on my way. There will be mistakes. Moving on. Try to get to the heart of it. Fly low, but looking for heaven. I want to harmonize to like the middle part because you don't want to harmonize every single line. Moving on. That's a D. Okay, so this is a quick vocal harmony lesson. This is the best way that I could simplify it. So if you're trying to harmonize with this note, if you want it to sound more dark for the harmony, count three notes. One, two, three. So. Because it's part of a chord, they harmonize with each other. So same thing for a more happy harmony. Count four notes, an even number. One, two, three, four. because it's part of a chord. This is C major chord. Now let's try this. So if you're ever having trouble, find the note that you want to harmonize with yourself. I don't have perfect pitch, but that was an F. Say I was going to harmonize to that. Go one, two, three. And from here, one, two, three. So. There we go, harmonies. That's a way to find it out. I play it by ear though, because over time it just becomes natural. A chord sounds pleasant together, and each individual note pretty much harmonizes. If we're starting this on a D note, moving on. Let's move four spaces up or three spaces up. Let's see which sounds better to us. So from D, one, two, three. This is a harmony, but does it sound good with moving on? Or let's see. Moving on. I think that's the winner. It sounds better with that. You want three of those stacks. You can even do more. It adds texture because each time you're not singing it the exact same way. So it just makes the room feel more full when you record three stacks of it singing the same thing. I'm gonna do it again. It's okay if it's not perfect because yes, you can hear the imperfections and some pitches are bending, but when you play it all together and you pan at different areas, you can't really tell. You don't want your harmonies to be louder than the main voice. You can rename it how you want. I'm just gonna say hi. I wanna keep it organized. I have it to where it creates a, a sum. You can go to Logic Pro key commands and edit um, brings it to sum. Yeah, create summing stack, see, number four. And it stacks it over here. I harmony. What other harmonies? Da, 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 da. Okay, from here, one, two, three. This time, since you want four times, the next time go three times. One, two, three. And if you want three times at first, then go four times the next. Like that. 
You can keep it consistent. You don't have to have it. Follow the notes. All right, so now we create a sum stack again. We got too much high, now we need some low. You can follow the exact notes an octave lower, but I'm gonna add it for texture. Moving on. Now we have our supporting notes, so you're gonna lower the volume a little bit. So we're gonna create that sum. If you want, you can also add more of the main voice. Moving on. I just need two since I already have the main, main to keep it organized. I'm having a lot of fun so far because I love doing this. Should just add more of the same harmonies but in different tones of voice. So I saw Jacob Collier do this, and um, this is really cool. Very speed. Turn it down, sing along to that pitch, and then when you turn off very speed, your voice is also gonna get pitched back to regular, but you, your tone of voice sounds different. So here's an example. Moving on. Let's do um, regular here. Moving on. It's okay if it's not perfect. Take off very speed. You're like, why? Why that? But listen to this. Moving on. You hardly notice it, but it adds some sort of texture to it. It's like different voices, not just my tone of voice. If you can do that with a lower, you can do that with a higher. So let's make it faster right here. Listen to it. Moving on. Ooh, yes. Moving on. So now we're gonna trim out everything that we don't need. That breath. We don't need that. That out of breath. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight. I have um, shortcuts when I press N. It, it brings me to this fade tool. You can go there too. And you're gonna drag the corners to fade in. It does it on both, because I highlighted both. You want to go and solo out each one and uh, make sure you can track and see if there's some weird sounds. <laughs> see like that click right here? And you can kind of see that waveform. Trim that out, you don't need it. Do this for each track as needed. So now it looks more organized. The lower pitches should be stronger than the higher pitches because the higher pitches are easily heard. You're gonna pan it left and right and keep one in the middle. Move. You can hardly tell now, it's all spread out. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Pan one, pan the other. See, it's starting to come together. Do this for each stack. Go left, right, left, right. Actually, let's do middle. There's nothing on here, right? So let's add just as a base. For the lower notes, cut off the higher frequencies on the right side, and for the higher notes, cut off the lower frequencies on the left side. Equalizing some of the frequencies will make it sound more professional and clear. So now I'm gonna pan left, right, let's do middle, middle, 32, make it balance, and then keep these two. We can automate the volume right here in this button. So let's add dynamics, so make it soft to loud, soft to loud, so bam, bam, bam. If you pull up the keyframes, then it raises the volume. If you lower the keyframes, it lowers the volume. Make little hills and have it go louder and softer where it needs to be. Moving on, you wanna create that like sense of volume. You wanna give a lot and then take it back to like have their ears go, what? What was that? So it like kind of rises your tension, starts slow, and gets higher. From here, we'll just copy there. Again, do this for all the stacks. Wow, that looks sick, to be honest. I'm gonna speed through the next harmony, and it's the same process. Fly low, but looking for heaven. Fly low, but looking for heaven. Fly low, fly low, but looking for heaven. 
I'm gonna automate these ones too. Let's EQ each one. Let's put some frequencies in the base right here. Let's boost these frequencies. And take that. It's very crispy. Fly low, fly low, but looking for heaven. I know, I know I'm holding up. Okay, guys, so this is what I have so far. I'm just gonna stop it right here. I'm going to play the final part. If you want me to do more videos like this, showing the process, please subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is what it sounds like now. I don't even know my fate I just know I'm on my way There will be mistakes Moving on Try to get to the heart of it Fly low but looking for heaven I know, I know I'm holding on Hope you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna go hit that thumbs up button check out my singing course and zaneruma.com studio for my suggestions for your studio stuff and yeah be amazing i love you all so 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 much